Hello everyone! Welcome to English class! We hope that you're ready, as we are, to start learning and have fun! Always remember, in English, you're the best! Hello everyone! Welcome to English class! Today, we will learn about writing clear and coherent sentences using subject-verb segment in paragraph composition. Here are the objectives. First, recall by telling whether the noun or pronoun is singular or plural. Second, recall verbs in simple present and simple present forms S and ES. Third, identify the rule for each agreement through the model sentences of the teacher. Fourth, practice through guided or dependent exercises identifying the rule used in given sentences. Fifth, understand how to construct clear and coherent sentences. Sixth, compose clear and coherent sentences using each rule of subject-verb agreement learned in oral and written forms. And seventh, Observe correct writing. Now looking back to our previous lesson, I want you to use the given transition word in a sentence. The basic rule of subject-verb agreement simply teaches you to always make your subject and verb agree with each other in number, singular or plural. You will learn how to compose clear and coherent sentences using each rule of subject-verb agreement. It is a prerequisite that the subject, noun or pronoun, must be understood carefully as singular or plural so that the verb will also follow its simple present and simple present S or ES form of the verb. Subject and verbs must agree in number. The following are the rules. Number 1. If the subject is singular, the verb must be singular too. Example, he eats healthy food every day. Number 2. If the subject is plural, the verb must also be plural. Example, they eat healthy food every day. Number 3. When the subject of the sentence is composed of two or more nouns or pronouns connected by and, use a plural verb. Example, the students and the teachers meet online. Another example, Anna and Ben care so much about you. Number 4. When there is one subject in more than one verb, the verbs throughout the sentence must agree with the subject. Example, her kindness is what attracts me. Another example, an opinion is something that is generally accepted as subject and doesn't present factual information. Number 5. When a phrase comes between the subject and the verb, remember that the verb still agrees with the subject not the noun or pronoun in the phrase following the subject of the sentence. Example, the teacher with all his students is having some fun. Let's have some more example. The student with all her classmates attends the online class. Subjects that the student takes to pass in every grade level include major and minor subjects. The goal of my studies is to graduate. Number 6. When two or more singular nouns or pronouns are connected by OR or NOR, use a singular verb. Example, the teacher or the coach is interested in the game. Number 7. When a compound subject contains both a singular and a plural noun or pronoun joined by OR or NOR, the verb should agree with the part of the subject that is closest to the verb. This is also called the rule of proximity. Example, 
The child or the parents pray every day. Another one. The parents or the child prays every day. Number eight. The words and phrases each, each one, either, neither, everyone, everybody, anyone, anybody, nobody, somebody, someone, and no one are singular and require a singular verb. Example. Each of the presenters is willing to be critiqued. Some more example. Everyone is invited to the party. I will provide all the needs to everybody who loves to study well. No one is allowed to party all night. Number 9. Non-count nouns take a singular verb. Examples. Patience is a virtue. Love cures many heartaches. The information obtained from the presenters is relevant to include in the study. The research I shared on the topic is informative. Number 10. Some countable nouns in English such as earnings, goods, odds, surroundings, proceeds, contents, and valuables only have a plural form and take a plural verb. Example. The goods for this week cater to hundreds of families. Here are another examples. The contents of the book provide enough information. The surroundings have enough space to live. Number 11. In sentences beginning with there is or there are, the subject follows the verb. Since there is not the subject, the verb agrees with what follows the verb. Examples There is a lich on your left leg. There are a chocolate bar, piece of cake, and other confections in the refrigerator. Number 12. Collective nouns are words that imply more than one person but are considered singular and take a singular verb. Some examples are group, team, committee, family, and class. Example, the team meets every week. Additional examples. The audience is tired of waiting for the start of the program. The audience are having some arguments. Now for our activity, Consider the rule for each subject-verb agreement. Select the answer from the choices inside the parentheses. Number 1 is done for you. Number 2. The duty of the teachers and other volunteer school personnel to protect the students from virus infection help helps the entire city. Number 3. People in the whole country crowd crowds into the street to voice out their concerns. Number 4. Our group Innovate innovates a school-wide campaign for cleanliness and environmental awareness. And number 5. Either his uncle or his aunt is or coming from the States. This time, let me know what you have learned from this lesson by supplying the given sentences. Now for our final activity, encircle the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. You blank a breath when you feel you get tired. A take, B takes, C taking, D took. Number 2. Something in the corner of the room black. A moves, B move, C moving, D moved. Number 3. Their house is in the mountains, Blanc Spectacular. A is, B are, C did, D do. Number 4. This Blanc another book by the same author. A is, B are, C was, D can. And number 5. The Latin word umbra Blanc into our word shade. A translates, B. Translate. C. Translated. D. Translating. Congratulations, learner! Now you're done reviewing the basics of subject-verb agreement. Remember that 
singular subjects are paired with singular verbs and plural subjects are paired with plural verb. For sentences with linking verbs, the verb should always agree with a subject and not the predicate nominative. Thank you for joining today's class. I hope that you learned something from our discussion. Until next time, bye! Get in my heart.